All right, baritone time, baritone day four. Let's get into it. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time today for this, so I'm going to try to get this done in 25 minutes instead of 30, trying to cut some time off. Um, if you want some more help on this stuff, as uh, most of what I've covered here is in the trombone video as well. Uh, so you can watch parts of that to get your help uh, with the song at the end. But we're going to start off with our long tones. Okay, I'm going to go through them pretty quick today because I already warmed up on the trombone and it's the same mouthpiece and it's the same uh, basic concept. So I'm going to go a little quicker. You can slow down as much as you need to. Just get that warm up in. Here we go. Starting in the key of E flat. That's three flats. B flat, E flat, and A flat. So we're going to have a lot of first valve here. Okay, here we go. Key of E flat, long tones. And you can look at this, look at the warm ups that I posted for week three to be able to do these with me. Here we go. Long tones. One, two, three, go. I can't get that low, low, low B flat or E flat. It's kind of tough to find it on here. Yeah, it says that I can't. <laughs> you, I can, but I don't know if I'll be able to actually nail it. I'm just gonna not, not worry about it. Okay. Major scales. Uh, I'm gonna start with my B flat and then my F and then I'll go to my E flat, which is written on the page. So. My B flat that I memorized from two weeks ago. Let's do it. <clears throat> Whew, can I do the upper octave? I probably could. Let me think. scale now. F major scale. Oh. My first valve is sticking. Let me throw some oil on that boy. So remember the B flat scale has two flats in it and the F scale has one, just B flat, right? F to F, just B flat. I'll do the upper octave now of the F scale. My E flat scale has three flats in it. B, E, and A. Okay, we're gonna we can't do the low octave because we don't have enough horn here. If you had a fourth valve, you could, but you can't because you don't. So we're gonna do just the first, just the top octave. E flat to high E flat. So we're going to move on. Let's go to our scale in thirds. So it's just our E flat scale in thirds. Remember, it's E flat to E flat 
skipping a note in between, to write it down. And you don't have to go at my speed, you can take this as slow or as fast as you want to. Pretty good baritone. It's really easy to be good at baritone. It's such a pretty instrument, though. Let's do our chromatic scale. Starting on high E flat, we're gonna get down to normal E flat, uh, hitting every note in between. If you know your pattern, it's real simple. Do I know my pattern, though? It's really easy with the pattern, it truly is. Let's see what I can see if I can do it faster. Yep, cool. Let's do some lip slurs. If you don't know the pattern, if you're going down, it's open, open, middle, one, one and two, two and three, one and three all three and then open again. That's the pattern. Remember it. It's very helpful with your chromatic scale. Fingering technique and our lip slurs. Let's do it. Lip slurs. Got my lips all warm and fresh. We're gonna get into the Tempest. Now, <clears throat> what I'm doing this week and next week probably is uh, I'm gonna practice on every instrument the same actual piece of concert music. I'm gonna play every line of it on every instrument and I'm gonna put all those recordings together in a compilation video of me playing the song. Now what you guys get to do is I'm gonna put all this music on Google Classroom and you can play along with me. And I want you to record yourselves playing this music and send me a video of it so I can put you in my video. If you're better than me, I'll replace my picture with yours uh, when I've got the video spliced together. Follow along with the tempo that I put down on my metronome and play the song with me. And we'll get everybody together and hopefully we'll be able to get a full concert band in even though we're all socially distanced or at home, right? Just follow along with what I do and... Uh, if you need help, let me know. Send me an email and I will definitely help you. I've got more than enough time to do that and more than enough effort. Um, just do your best and follow with what I'm doing. We're going to do The Tempest by Robert W. Smith. It's already on your Google Classroom, so go ahead and bring it up. Uh, pause the video and bring it up and then we'll keep going. Okay? We start at the beginning. The only thing we have to worry about in this song there's a few weird things. There's some accidentals that we have to fool with and some low notes we haven't done before. This first note is at G, a low G, one and two. It's really not hard though. Low G and then the A. I just write those fingerings in if you don't have them. It's one and two and then A is middle. But we're in the key of B flat. That's a really easy key. And let's just do this thing, okay? Uh, if you want a bigger breakdown of how this song goes. Uh, you can look at the trombone video after this, but uh, a lot of the song is the same. 
So I'm not going to play through the whole thing. I'm not going to play through each part separately a couple times. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of what uh, what the different parts are. So this beginning is a little different. So there's eight measures of whole notes and half notes. We're pretty quick, 120 BPM. So uh, let's get this get this started. Follow your dynamic markings. Two, three, one, two, three. note there before nine is an F sharp. That's second and third finger. You make a little llama, right? Second and third finger. Crescendo into it. It's really fun to do. Uh, don't miss that. It's a lot of fun. We'll do that one more time. We're going to go on to 18 this time. Uh, nine nine between, between nine and 18 is real, real easy. Okay. We've got G with different rhythms. The hardest rhythm here is measure 10 and measure 14. One, two, and three, four. Again, one, two, and three, four, but it's real pretty simple. Just follow the rhythms, write your uh, beats in, write your notes in if you have to. But uh, it's all, it's mostly G's, there's two F sharps in there. Da, 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 it's really not too bad. So we're gonna start at the top and go all the way to 18. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> and then crescendo to fortissimo at the end right very very doable moving on to 36 check it out it's the same exact thing as 9 to 18 so I'm gonna skip 36 to 45 right now I'm gonna go straight to 45 hardest part about 45 is the rhythm and it's even not that hard we're playing on beat one and beat four of every single measure here except for that one in the middle that is you play on all measures but you've got one rest rest four and one rest rest four one rest rest four and one three four one it's real simple one more time I'll do that one more time one two three four and one two three four one two three four and one three four one Four and one, four one, four and one, three one, and you do that over and over again. The only other thing to worry about here is four measures before 63, we have a little bit of melody. It's a little different than we're used to, but melody's not that hard, you just gotta learn it. The hardest thing is the high C in first valve. Da 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 da, and you'll see me do it. Uh, it's not as hard as it might look. So we're going to start at 45, we're going to go all the way to 63, and probably to 69. Uh, at 63 to 69, it's the same thing as it was um, earlier, from 9 to 18. It's the same concept. Here we go. 45. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> two measures of rest and then this next two measures between D and E flat and then you've got four D's at different beats um, this is something to write down here okay 
get a pencil, write it on your music, or print your music off, or open it up in Kami and write this down, it's important. At 73, measure 73, your first beat is a hit, is you play a D, and then you play on the fourth beat, and then you play on the third beat of the next measure, and then you play on the first beat of the last measure. So it's gonna be one, rest, rest, four, rest, rest, three, rest, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. One more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay? It's pretty easy once you get it in your head, but it takes a minute to get that rhythm down. Okay? Uh, yeah, and then the last three bars, last three measures here, have some notes we're not used to. The first note in measure 78 is an A flat, its first valve. The second note is an F sharp, we've been playing that the whole song, and then you go back to G. Uh, and so it's really not a hard ending. We'll play the ending, 71 to the end. One, two, three, go. <laughs> not that bad there's it's pretty simple the whole song is rather easy for us we just got a lot of G's a lot of uh, endurances here I'm gonna start at the top play it straight down that's the last thing I'll do okay you can follow along or you can just watch and uh, and listen and try to keep track of it on your paper or you can slow me down and follow along with me but let's do this one two one two three go <laughs> the way I started. We start over. One, two, one, two. measure rest here. I'm going to skip most of it. Okay? I'll let you know when I come back in. One, two, one, two, thirty-six. video for Tempest. If you have questions, please let me know. I will help you out. And if you uh, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm here to help you. Uh, I'll put this music online. It should already be there. Go ahead and download it. 
print it off, have it with you, and send me a video when you get a chance or if you feel like it. Um, the best thing we can do right now is cooperate and participate with each other. It'll be a lot more fun to play the horn if you know that we're all playing it with you. So, good luck. I hope you have a good three-day weekend. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you guys back next week, uh, hopefully, for baritone day number whatever's next. Three, I think. See you later.